Today was PM's rally in Ferozpur, Punjab. Foundation stones of various development projects of worth 42750 crore were going to be announced and laid today. But unfortunately, the rally got cancelled. According to the reports, the reason was a security breach. So many questions are there. Let's start. Hi everyone, this is Raghav Arora. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Raghav Arora. After a gap of two years, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Punjab to inaugurate the development projects of worth forty-two thousand seven hundred and fifty crores. Prime Minister Narendra Modi landed Bhatinda earlier today and was welcomed by Punjab Minister Manpreet Singh Badal on the behalf of Punjab government. Further to the National Martyrs Memorial at Husainiwala, he was to be flown by helicopter, but due to poor visibility and rain. He had to wait for another 20 minutes so that weather could be cleared, but weather didn't clear. So he decided to take up the roadway, which would take another two hours more than the helicopter way. According to the Home Ministry, he proceeded to travel by road after the confirmation of essential security arrangements by the DGP of Police of Punjab. But when PM's convoy reached the flyover just 30 kilometers from the memorial. The road got blocked by the protesters. According to a news agency, Punjab government did not deploy additional security on the road for a contingency plan to avoid any kind of movement by road. So after a long stuck on road by PM Modi's convoy, PM Modi convoy headed back to the Bhatinda airport. According to the ANI, on reaching Bhatinda airport, Prime Minister Narendra Modi told airport officials that thank you, CM. At least I reached airport alive. Punjab Minister Raj Kumar Verka said there were no shortcomings in the security arrangements for the PM Modi. Further, BJP Chief JP Nadda tweeted that it's sad that PM's visit to Punjab to launch development projects of worth thousands of crores is disrupted. State police was instructed to prevent people from attending the rally. CM Chani also refused to get on the phone to either address the matter or solve it. Ministry of Home Affairs has sought a detailed report from the state government, and it also has been said that to fix the responsibility on this lapse and take some strict actions. For further videos and updates, please subscribe my channel, The Raghav Arora, and share 